Well, yeah. <laughs> Works now, so. Yeah, introduce yourself real quick for those who don't know you, which I don't you think. Not, no, there's not too many people who don't know you, but. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's a few. Let's not, let's not, let's not let all the shit. Okay, and. Uh, my name is uh, Arrow. I go by Arrow Tech on Xbox Live uh, on the forums. I also Mr. HD on YouTube. Uh, I make videos. There's some people think they're good. Uh, I make jokes and like to talk about my butthole. That's pretty much about it. <laughs> now we are trying to be a little professional here, but um... Maybe you made a mistake bringing me on this. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Now. Uh... I understand you've been watching some of the battles since we've started. Uh, I just caught foos or fouls or foos or whatever. D one S L foul. Yeah, and then I saw the one after that. I think if that wasn't the last one, yes. So. So I saw the the the, the most recent two. So I'm clearly up to date on everything going on. <laughs> well, on the stream you'll see a. The, the ladder of where we're at. I'm winning, right? Um, no. Didn't even make it, but I'm winning, right? <laughs> you got close. <laughs> you guys really got to calm down with your qualifying. It's really starting to irk me. It's not fair. It's not fair that 100 people qualify? No. <laughs> it's not fair when we get our, sent our scores and they say 80-something. You go, oh, cool. And then you're like 43rd. That's not... <laughs> It's supposed to be a simulation of real Formula Drift. If it was real Formula Drift, I'd be in with a 50. This is... Yeah. Stop! That, that is true, though. That is true. But hopefully I get a word back from uh, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy Lowe. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I don't. I do not think we'll be able to talk to him today. Boo. Um, but I did ask Pat Gooden, so maybe we can bring him on. I'm sure Danny George would do something too. If yeah. you could contact him, I don't have any way to contact him really. Face boobies, man. Well, how about you Facebook him? Uh, okay. <laughs> Just be like, I hey, we'll do uh, today. It's super short notice, but. Well, yeah, I, I well, it can be whatever kind of notice. Well, we want to interview somebody in between the top thirty-two and top sixteen. So. So how's it going? I'm so. kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Looks like we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get Danny. We can probably get Danny on here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I don't know if he'll come in today. It looks, it looks like somebody on the stream knows him, so... It's super, super, super um, short notice, and he's a busy man. He runs crab stuff. His crab, he has a beard. That's, I don't know. <laughs> no, this past weekend at Road Atlanta, uh, I was with DMA Boston, Troy, and Fandy Orbs, and one of their friends, and uh, his friend, he was wearing a uh, Save Danny George t-shirt, and... Uh, it was it was Danny George, Chris Horsford, and like two other guys, and they came up and group hugged him, and then gave him a little, uh, little bandana thing, the mandana. That's rad. Called. But he, but it was just, it was the craziest thing because I was just, we're just walking through and you see Danny Danny George and Chris Chris Horsford, and um, he was just yeah yeah, but it was it was all kinds of weird because they just ran up and group hugged him with like four people. That's that's the cool thing I think about Formula Drift and that video is still processing nice. Uh, um, I think it's cool that it's it's a big sport as to where we can look at these people like they are kind of celebrities, um, but there's it's they're still so humble as to where this isn't like NASCAR where they are these big celebrated drivers. Yeah, and they can come out in the crowd and be like, hey, what's going on, man? Like I know a couple friends of mine have Danny George's number. Yeah, and it's. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool that it's pretty much everybody. Um, a lot of people, at least like ninety-five percent of the drivers, are very personable. Or I don't think that's a word, but um, down to earth and stuff like that. Yeah, earth. yeah. Welcome to Earth. 
So, uh, we are going to get started with the next lobby here. Okay, so I put a thing on his Facebook wall, and if he answers it, he answers it, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. <laughs> Yola. Who'd you ask? Uh, Danny George. Uh, we already got an answer from him, and he's too busy, so. Oh, how'd you know that? Um, there's somebody on the stream who knows him. Oh. So. Who's that? Uh, Ryota. But. Oh, I just called him. Okay, yeah. I just. So I said maybe next round, because I wasn't expecting. Yeah, we probably won't get anybody today. It's super, super short notice. Yeah. Join party and game. I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna join the party, but I'm not gonna. See, so, like I said, we will be moving on to the next, next, uh, next lobby here. Uh, we'll be seeing, again, another packed lobby full of ridiculous drivers. Oh, look at all those wings. Damn ironing boards. <laughs> Park benches. Get them right. So, so it looks like what we'll be seeing, what we'll be seeing in here is Bob Studley will be replacing Air Raid to take on MSR Hydro. Uh, we'll see DMA Panic versus JSI Mad Dog. We'll see... Ryru versus Puff Bibby. <laughs> and <laughs> How did you say that with a straight face? <laughs> what? I can say things with a straight face. <laughs> oh my god. And, and we'll also see Brandon versus SFX Mustache. Oh, that wasn't funny at all. One of you guys needs a goofier gamer tag. If everyone's gamer tag should be as funny as to where it just immediately makes me laugh. Oh what my was goodness. what was his name again? Puff. Oh. <laughs> Puff Congratulations Bibby. for getting a 90 and making it 26, Mr. Puff. But oh my that gosh. Game tag. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we will be seeing MSR Hydro versus Bob Studley. He did. Uh, he did. Uh, Bob Studley will be taking the place of Air Raid, who is by far the most mysterious man ever. The man with two D's. And I guess Hydro will be leading first. Hydro's in that 8, 850. When the only 850 we'll be seeing here at VFD. He is lagging all over the place. But he does have a huge proximity gap in between him and Bob Studley and the GTR. These French guys, man, they just come out of nowhere and they just lay down really solid runs. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Really glad we got some international, uh, some international showing in VFD. It's starting to see how much impact this series really has. Oh yeah, with well, with a hundred people, you're not gonna find a hundred people in America that is gonna hop on Forza and drift. <laughs> but this this was the second uh, second round with a um, hundred qualifiers. So but here we go, Bob Studley leading in the R35 GTR. Looking really good. MSR Hydro is staying right on him. Oh, that kind of looked like lag. I think he, from my screen, it looked like he got a little bit too much on the alligator strips. Um, and maybe it might have upset his rear. But um, from what I watched, there's definitely no contact. And it didn't look like um, Studley's car jer jolted or anything. Looks like maybe he just put too many tires on that rumble strip and it might have upset him a little bit. Understandable. That was also, but it, it, I don't know. It, it did look like a little bit of a hit. I mean, I'm just calling it as I see it. Yeah, as it am I. Could have been completely different. That's just a. But MSR Hydro will take that win. Next up, we will see DMA Panic versus. Versus a uh, JSI Mad Dog. So JSI Mad Dog will be in that 05 Mustang with DMA Panic 
and the ASD R30 R32 so many uh really nice delivery on that R32 and oh, yeah, really that's can't for sure. panic out not a lot of people he's not really high on the radar anymore in terms of uh, activity and being on fours and stuff but back in the day man this is one of the guys to beat in these competitions so everyone's got to watch out for him oh yeah you always got to watch out for anybody from the old amped uh, group even SLP if you guys are that old that old <laughs> I'm not that old it's that slipstream team slipstream but Mad Dog will be following Panic. He's going to give him a little bit of room. Really committing that main entry. There you go. So, it will be a big entry from both guys, but there's a little bit of proximity difference in between them. Mad Dog is catching up. Looks like Mad Dog expected to catch up a lot more than he actually did. And it's kind of throwing him off a little bit. He's not getting as much angle as he used to. I just straightened up a little bit there to catch up, so I don't know. 6-5, I think, maybe? I know that we're not supposed to judge it that way, but that's the way I'm doing it anyways. 6-4, don't you mean? If it's 10? Shut you up. Made, you made 11 points. Shut <laughs> up. I, I would give a slight advantage to Mad Dog. Maybe 7-3 for me. Mm. Only because he did gap him that hard. Like, it was, it was such a big gap that he had to overcome, and he... It's really easy to get gap in that uh, in that horseshoe, though. But yeah, no, I see your I see your point. I don't know. It's, it looked really even to me. It looked like Mad Dog had to sacrifice a little bit more to catch up. But anyways, he goes for the following. Oh my goodness, Panic is on his door. Oh. Oh, but goodness. he does drop a tire. Dropped another one. Ooh. I I don't know what they're gonna call about the horseshoe. They're going so at it. Sure, on that horseshoe, but so for me and maybe some people who don't know that are watching, what what do you mean about the horseshoe there? All right, you'll see on the replay. Um, as you start up, you'll come down the hill, hit that first clip where uh, where panic dropped the tire, and then you come into the horseshoe right there as you. As it's basically just the the differently paved part that is not part of the actual track. It's actually a different part of the track that was paved specifically for Formula Drift. So that will be a good run from both competitors, but we'll have to see how how they judge it. I don't know. Um, I think if anyone's going to win this, it might be Mad Dog. Maybe mostly because Panic made... It looks like they both made a little bit of mistakes on their follow runs, but it's, I think Panic's were a bit more severe than, uh, than Mad Dog's. But again, that's my opinion. My, my, my say would be one more time, only because Panic was on his door for more... for longer... There, than uh, Mad Dog was on his door, because Mad Dog was only on his door for, for like the last two runs, whereas Panic entered on his door and then he did slow down just a little bit, but then he uh, didn't end up there at the end. It's gonna be an interesting call either way, you know. That's the cool thing about drifting is that it's all um, opinion based, and as long I don't know, there's some people that will just call things and like just complain, but uh, you guys just have to realize that other people see things differently, and it's as long as they can explain their opinion properly, then you really like it's just the way it goes. Yeah. And this video has still not processed. Holy crap! But it will be a Mad Dog win. Yeah, I think Panic's mistakes on his fall run were just too much to, uh, too much to overcome. Even though he did have, in my opinion, um, a so, YouTube video playing in the background, <laughs> um, <laughs> a bit more of an interesting follow run. I think that that tire drop 
and a little bit of a straighten after the tire drop was uh, a little bit too much to overcome on his part. Oh, yeah. Well, next up we'll see Ryru versus Puff Bibby. Ryru will be in the Mazda RX-7. A lot of balls on that kid, man, for running that car. Them knobby-ass rear tires. We'll see how he does in that little two-rotor. Decent entry. Oh, there's a tire. But, but oh, it looks two. like he'll drop two. There's another one. Really struggling behind him right now. Not a particularly good run from either one of them. If I'm honest. Yeah. It's almost maybe not a, a double zero, but definitely was not impressed by either one of them. Hero seemed to have a really hard time following that who shall not be named because I'll just start giggling. <laughs> and with that two tire drop, uh you know. Yeah. We'll we'll see how he does on his lead run, and that that seems to be where um, Ryru. Uh, that's where he seems to excel. His follows are a little down, especially being in a being a low end torque car. Low end torque, and he has less than 400 horsepower in that car. That it, that is also true. Versus an old school Mustang with tons of torque. But here he goes. Big entry into the first corner. Puff Bibby stays, tries to stay right on him, but that FC is just going at it. Does drop a tire at the top of the horseshoe. Brings it around in throughout the keyhole. Brings it back onto the track through the transition. Puff stays on this door. I think that'd be a point advantage to Hero overall, or maybe one more time. Um, I think Hero's follow one was a little bit more inconsistent. Um, even though Puff, Puff's follow run wasn't as good, he still kept it really smooth and didn't make as much mistakes as Hero did when he was following. But of course, Puff's lead run was poo poo for poo poo Puffs. Yeah. Uh, with the That's for sure. Drop, uh, and the tire drop at the front of the car. So I think it's either a point, one point, a barely a small advantage for Hero, or a, uh, a one more time, which I think is a little bit more likely. Yeah. We'll see what the judges call this. Video, why you know upload? Oh, there it is. But we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, they're they're trying to figure out who's going to take the win because you you don't want to get these calls wrong. Yeah, I know, that was a really difficult call um, to be a judge, mostly because there was so many different minor mistakes um, from both of them. Oh, yeah. They, they, but neither of them had a major mistake. There's just so many minute ones, except for yeah. that double tire drop uh, on Pop's part. Other than that, it was really just, you know, little corrections here, a front tire, a rear tire drop there. Um. And it does look like we will get a Ryru win in the Mazda FC. Really sucks to see some old school muscle go, if anyone knows um, me, I do enjoy my old school muscle, having run the Falcon for the past two years in this. Um, but... Uh, you know, Puff put on a really good fight. It's just a shame, and I think I think that if we were going on a point system, um, that Ryu would only have got it by like half a point, maybe one point. So, uh, Puff, if you're watching, you did good. No, uh, no shame, no shame in losing there. Next up will be Brandon and SFX Mustache. Mustache back on the scene. It's been a long time since I've seen him in competition. Apparently, he's still one of the guys to beat out here. Throws it in with a huge entry. Both of them doing well. Right on him. Brandon has... Brandon's a, laying it down right now. 
Yeah, he is definitely throwing down a good lead run. Big angle. Mustache is staying right on him, though. This was definitely a close one. It does look like it will be a tie. So it's going to be based off Mustache's lead run with Brandon following. Mustache put on a really good following, but Brandon's lead run, he just poured it on. I don't think I've seen, personally, anyone go in that... Um, into that horseshoe with that much angle, especially coming off the alligator strips and just hold it. Either he got real lucky right there, or he's got some tuning secrets that he needs to share with us. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely a, uh, a fantastic lead run. But here they go with Mustache following or leading. Again, another big entry from both guys. Brandon got really close on transition. Oh my goodness. Oh, it gives him a small tap twice. But it does not mess him up, really. I don't think they'll count that hit. But that was a fantastic, fantastic. Let's go to the replay. I think it one more time. What do you guys think in the stream? I, I think, I think it one more time for sure. But that was totally, that was one of the best runs that we've had here. This may be one of that those was best of run uh, round wow. two videos because this was, this was a run not to forget. That was a good run from both guys both runs from both of them definitely ended up and it looks like mustache will take the win I guess um, when it comes down to it contact is contact um, it, I know it looked like lag on the stream but in the game there was no lag or, well, from what I could see at least yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was minor, but in battles that close, you do have to pick apart every little minor detail. Oh, um, yeah. It sucks because Brandon, again, just like even even better than uh, Puff, uh, really laid it down. And uh, it sucks that we have to weed people out like this because that should have been a great eight or final four battle, not a uh, top 32 battle. Oh, yeah. That's, that's something you would see at the end towards the finals. But that's what happens here at VFD. When you have 100 people qualifying, you're going to end up with something like something like this where you have a fantastic battle between two great drifters in the top 32. So next up, we will be seeing MSR Hydro versus JSI Mad Dog. Really proud of our French connection here. <laughs> really, these guys come out have been doing. I think there's been a small group of them, but eight or not eight of them, and coming out to almost every FD event, a VFD event since season three. And uh, even though we do have communication issues, um, these guys are really putting it down. And, uh, like I said earlier, showing us how countries, maybe not English-speaking countries, you know, uh, people can throw down from anywhere. All right, so what are we done with this lobby? So, we'll be moving on to the next lobby here, where we'll be seeing, man, 
wish I wish I could turn it down. We are waiting for the next invite, so. That was my Facebook, by the way, if anyone's checking. All right. I was wondering. I was like... Yeah. What? I have to keep your volume up. So, like, if anything goes on in the background, um, you know, <laughs> you, someone's going to hear it. I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible. So we are we are trying to uh, hop into the next lobby. So just hold right with us. I'm just gonna toss an idea out here while we're waiting, and that slow rider drives by my house. Um, would anyone be interested in doing a bottom 16 lobby? Because there is so many um, good people left over, and I'm not just saying this because I'm always in the bottom 16, but. Uh, um, it always looks like there's so many people that did do well in qualifying that just don't have the chance to compete because all these other guys, and no offense to them, of course, oh yeah, uh, just absolutely come out and slay it. Um, so like, take the reserves that didn't get to compete and um, like whoever else in the 16, you know, if, if anyone wanted to do that, and like maybe for round three, um, after the competition's over, like we can all just get in a lobby and, you know, type thing. Even if it's like King of the Hill, just something. Like a consolation, not cry because you didn't make it. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool if anyone else would be down for that. Oh yeah. I mean, not this round because I've, I've kind of put the idea out there, so I feel like I should be involved and I don't have time. But uh, uh, definitely for round three, I'll be down for that. Oh yeah. Having something on like Sunday for the bottom 16 or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. And I mean, no points, just for fun. Yeah. Um, maybe we can do, like, the cash prize. I've got a lot of credits, so maybe I can put up a cash prize or something. Um, well, not cash, that's the wrong word, but, like, a credit prize. Um, yeah. You know, maybe get one of our sponsors. You know, Quantum Designs, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, understood. Um, cars. But uh, I hook up set uh, at turn ten, give out some unicorns. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, for sure. Cause I have hookups. Totally. On Twitter. Nat. Oh, okay. Almost ready up. That would have been bad. Um. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that could work. Steve in the S2000 now. Yeah, he switched over uh, for this round. Power on that too? Ha! Ha! Burn! Oh, <laughs> I don't think he's running as much power in this S2000. That thing, if he does even remotely good that he did in his S15, um, people can say what they want about Steve, but props, because that car is not easy to drift. No, I, I've, I watched him drift it uh, a couple of months ago, uh, and he he kills it in this S two thousand. He ended up with a ninety four and a half um, on his so that's, on his qualifying run. That's a car where you're always busy behind the wheel, man. Um, oh yeah, it's not something like uh, no offense to our Camaro drivers here, but something I'm just gonna use it as an example. Um, that the car and you help each other. That car is especially the engine. It's constantly fighting you. Um, so props on him and challenging himself, um, putting out something a little bit different than you know the Mustangs and the Skylines and the. And the oh yeah. Cameras. What the? So, 
Yeah, it was a... Uh... So tell us about your qualifying run. I know your first run you didn't do too well, correct? Is it your first or your second run you didn't do too well? Um, God, I almost don't remember. I think my first run I might have pulled a zero. Um, I either went too hard in the entry and straightened up and I think they gave me a zero or, um, you know, and it just wasn't, it wasn't good. I was too nervous. Um, I still have a lot of kinks to work out in the paint on. It's still a chassis I'm trying to get used to. Um, obviously, you have way more seat time in other cars. But, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, the second run, I went way too conservative on the entry just to make sure I got a full pull, um, maybe to make reserves. But I guess, you know, it was barely. You guys see these guys going 90 almost backwards, and I was just, you know, complete 12-year-old girl status. The rest of the run was fine. But, you know, I think that entry really killed me. Oh, yeah, and, that's for uh, sure. You know, even to come out of there with an 84 was so, a big surprise. But yeah, you, you know, going that, that entry was critical. Oh, yeah, that, that uh, very much is. So you, you're you looking forward to uh, round three for West uh, Palm Beach? Yeah, you know, West Palm Beach uh, in real life is probably one of my favorite tracks uh, to watch, aside from Road Atlanta and Irwindale, and mostly because it just gets nutty uh, especially last year with the whole Daigo Saito versus uh, versus uh, uh, Pollock thing that was pretty rad oh yeah and, uh, any track where it's relatively flat and uh, gives people a chance to let it all hang out in the entries with the angle and you know where style takes over is uh, something that I like to watch and like to compete in oh yeah that's for sure for sure so for those who are wondering uh, the next round will be in three weeks uh, next round VFD uh, FD will be in two weeks I do believe um, I'll make sure and confirm that I'm on it right now but we uh, but we always run the week after Formula Drift so West Palm Beach uh, the real Formula Drift will be taking place the weekend of May 31st so that is in two weeks yep and then we'll be running the week after. So. We will be running the weekend of June 7th, I want to say, 6th or 7th or it'd something be, like it'd that. It'd be the 8th. I was close. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's qualifying will start on that Thursday, which will be uh, the 6th or 7th. Ah. <laughs> so, um, just, be, just be on the lookout for that. Look on the Forza forums. That was me. Uh, we will be having signups there, so. All right, on, so on this next. This will be the final top 32 lobby. We'll see Minty and Merlin, and then we'll have Nando and Hi Hayato. Hayato. Yeah, that looks about right. Then we'll have Superfly and Flo, and then we'll have DTE Latino and SO Steve. But I do think DET Latino will not be able to make it. But like like we said, if you do qualify. For this event, we do want you to show up. It's uh I mean, I understand some people are going for championships and going for points, and to get in the top thirty-two um, would be essential to your. Uh, you know, I I did that last year. I think with DMA or MD, and I just qualified. At least let the guys know that hey, I might not make it tomorrow. I just can't like I told him I just came for points for qualifying and then I you know had stuff to do the next day at least give guys notice so they don't spend 20 minutes you know trying inviting you like crazy and you know trying to get a hold of you well still I, at the end of the day it's unprofessional it's you're uh, you're qualifying saying hey I am going to I'm preparing to compete tomorrow yes that's me again so it's just it's just that whole whole ordeal when it comes down to it. it's just it's just 
This is crazy. But once we get through the top 32, we know these people are here. So after top 32, it just streamlines through. So. So here we go for the last lobby. Like we said, you'll be seeing um, the proposed battles beforehand. Before we got any, uh, before we got any of the fill-ins, uh, we had XE Minty versus DMA Merlin, which I still believe we'll be seeing. Uh, we'll be seeing JSI Nando versus XE Hayato. Or Hayato, Hi, oh, gosh, how you pronounce that? Hayato, Hayato. All right, so we're gonna pronounce it for that one. Uh, we have XE Minty or XE Superfly versus DW Flow, and DTE Latino versus SO Steve. That feel when you lose a really important email. So here goes. Minty versus DMA Merlin, and we did just get word that Minty said that he will not be holding back. So it's uh, it's definitely going to be a wild run. You want to be here to watch it. Minty's mad. He's <laughs> angry. He's angry. No. But here, here we go. Here we go for Minty's lead run in the R34, and he. Said he wasn't holding anything back, and that's what he's not doing. He is just killing it. Hits every clip perfectly. Drops a tire at the top of the horseshoe. But as you can see, he is just on every single clip, right on it. Minty kills it. He did win last last round, so he is first in points. So that was. That was uh, definitely it. Man, that was, that was a good run from uh, Minty. Now let's see how he does on this follow run. Merlin leading. Merlin does put a good entry in that 2010 Shelby. But Minty stays on his door. Oh, my goodness. He is right on his door, keeping it right there on him. He is not letting up at all. Minty's going for another win here, guys. He's going a full... I don't even know. <laughs> I just caught the end of that run, having loaded in the lobby late. And... Yeesh. That was a nasty run. Let's go to the replay. Good lord. Good lord. Lord have mercy. Man, he just... He is keeping it on his... Oh my goodness. One of the most consistent followers in Forza Motorsport, period. Oh, yes, that's for sure. That is, that is for He's sure. He can follow anything and anyone. And I mean, not a bad lead run, just. This is Minty. Do. Minty threw down a nasty run. Gotta tell Minty to calm down. Gotta give these, people, these other people a chance here. Next up will be JSI Nando versus XE Hayato. So I'm guessing Minty got the win. Yeah, Minty definitely got a win, that's for sure. Hayato in that matching hand cook S13. Props in him for running an S13. For and sure. He's very, very comfortable. Um, Reliable chassis. It's just a shame that you know the small tires and the uh, the low output on the engine compared to some of these guys running six, seven, eight hundred horsepower. Oh yeah, yeah. He is running. He is running the standard motor in this, the uh, the SR20. I mean, again, like this and the 
240, if you tune it right, they're just as good as everything else. Maybe not as quick, but... And he's up against a Mercedes. Oh, dear. <laughs> but Nando will be leading... Or, Nando will be... Oh, my. What? Oh, it looked like... Technical difficulty... <laughs> Backwards entry. Oh, my goodness. That was one of the weirdest starts I've seen. Some definite lag. Just kissed over the over the line there. I don't know. It doesn't look like he's running the proper line up front. If that's just me, that's just me. But should have ran that inside line coming out of the horseshoe, and he just looks like he kissed it. But uh, not a terrible run up front. I want to see Nando close in a little bit, maybe. But well, he as you saw at the beginning, he had some serious lag. No doubt, man. So, hopefully we can, uh, oh, um, wah, wah, wah. he just left. <laughs> Wait, Nando lagged out too? Uh, Ayato just lagged out. He just... Casper just took him away. This is one of the craziest rounds of VFD. Yo, VFD round two. Round two of anything with virtual or formula drift in it is always going to be one of the craziest rounds. You never know what's going to happen. Casper appears out of nowhere. Destroying GTOs. Puff Bibby is also here in attendance. <laughs> and he's just. <laughs> I keep that on standby for the rest of the stream. Nando's still here. His car is still here. Yeah, Nando's still here. It's just. Maybe he's here in body, but not in spirit. So it looks like we'll be moving on to the next, uh, next battle, which will be pitting Esso Steve versus Clerks Reaper. Reaper Clerks will be showing up in the Toyota Soar. Sounds a bit too J.E. Nice looking paint on that thing. A little bit of a uh, Dago Saito feeling coming out of this car. We are waiting on Steve to come up to the line. Steve just gonna just gonna hang out back there, give him a little bit of a lead on the 50 roll, I think. <laughs> just just a little bit. Gonna take a Texas start. All right, so here goes. Steve in the S2000 with Clerks Reaper in the Toyota Soar. Right on the inside of the track. That's so. Oh my! That S2000 goes straight through the entry. Really nice. Keeping it together. Clerks is not able to keep up. Steve is just absolutely killing it in the S2000. He's backfiring just about every time he lifts him off the gas. The S2000 will have a huge, huge uh, advantage going into his follow run. I mean, I don't want to be the one to say it here. That was my Facebook. But uh, VTEC just kicked in, yo. <laughs> Had to be said. <laughs> Here goes Clerks Reefer leading in that soar. Oh, he does throw it in, but he does straighten up. Under, we must speed, more speed, more speed. Backwards, he's gone. But at S2000 from SO Steve, if he finishes up the run, he will take the win. Too much pressure.
and Steve will take the win. Easy win for Steve, but good lord, man. That S2, S2000 is rocking it right now. Oh, yeah, it's definitely something from another world, that's for sure. <laughs> so it looks like next up we'll see one of the ugliest paint jobs ever from DMI Captain save -a versus XE Superfly, the Achilles Tire Supra. It is a terrible paint. <laughs> That's horror bad. That entire car is really ugly. Yeah, you can check out Superfly's YouTube as he just now got partnered. He also got partnered with GT Channel along with us too. Mm-hmm. Them tiny ass wheels, eyeballs for lights. Forza, Forza font rockstar. What are you? No, stop it. Dad. No. 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 Alright, so. Here we go. Superfly's leading in that Toyota Supra. Superfly throws it in, but he throws it in just a little hard, drops a tire way on the outside. Really easy for Save Captain Savaho stays. Oh my goodness, he's right on this door. Drops a tire on the horseshoe, and then Superfly just pulls away, coming out of the horseshoe. Looks like Superfly has way more seat time with that Super than Savaho does in that Corvette. Oh yeah. So we'll see what Superfly has in store for his follow run. Judges are calling for a replay. One tire looks like almost like two, but I think that it was just one. Right oh yeah. Well here they go for for their second run. Superfly will be following. Oh my Oh goodness. my goodness, he stays right on him. Hit that inside point as well as good as anyone. Oh my goodness, Superfly puts his front wheels on Camp Savaho's have door. a good ride home, save a hope. Good. Bye. That was a fantastic follow run. We'll go to the replay for that one. Nothing against save a hope, just yeesh. GG, no RE. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed right there, man. He once he come up the uh, up on top of the horseshoe, it was just right there on him. See, Luckily, he didn't hit him. Point. Looked like to be the entry, and then after that, it was just that was game. Little wobbles here and there, and Superfly was just ready to poop all over his chest. Um, no visual. Wait, are they doing it one more time? Maybe. Okay. What well, is gonna be a one more time? All right. Superfly kills the entry. That is just stupid now. Oh my goodness. Superfly is absolutely killing his lead runs. Superfly is probably one of those only guys that can hold a car on what looks like to be the exact limit. Oh yes. Of angle. And then keep it there too. Yeah, and Superfly is going to have a huge... As long as he feels like keeping it there. As long as he can keep it together during his follow run and do what he did last time, I do think he's going to take the win. Here he goes. Savaho also brings in a huge entry in that Corvette. Savaho's got to turn it on right now. Oh my goodness, he hits that clip perfectly. Listen, that oh, is, like, will like they keep it? Oh, he, oh my goodness. Now you see, oh, he's, he's some speed there. oh my. We may have lost some speed, but that angle was ridiculous. We have to go to the replay for that one. That was... Wow. Though I think it's Goodbye Save-A-Hope Part 2. This time it's for real. 
I don't know. Because that was... Both lead runs were nasty. But oh, both follow good. runs were also good. The only thing that w I would say is... Slavo's follow run wasn't as good. But his lead run was ridiculous. Slavo also had two, two tire drops on his lead run. That angle, though, but... And it looks like Superfly will take the win. And it sounds like I'm just sitting here dissing Sabaho. That's not the case at all. It looks like... All right, so um, some content. Or, uh, we do have to get the battle from earlier when Hayato lagged out of the uh, lagged out of the room. But we will see. Uh, we'll see if. We can get this run under or done, and then once we get that, we will get into the top sixteen. So I'm so glad I have the chat to be a little deviant in so I can't do it because uh, I can't do it on voice. Yeah. Can't can't be an anus on a voice, but I can be an anus. All right, so hopefully we can get uh, Nando and Hayato into uh, get them to finish up their battle. So. All right, so we're going to wait let them go in so we can get their paints loaded. So here we go with uh the last battle of the top 32. Hayoto and JSI Nando. Nando will be in the will be in the holy lag. Nando will be in the Mercedes Benz C63 AMG. And Hayoto will be in the Nissan 240SX.
So we'll see if uh, see if we can actually get this run through. This look like Hayato does have a little bit of a lag, so we'll try. Oh, wrong person. Here we go. So what do you think about this uh, next battle, Mr. Arrow? I don't know, man. I think it's a contrast of you know, two completely different cars and two completely different setups. That and is for sure. It's going to be real interesting to see. Um, through that lead run, it looked like Hayato's got a faster, set, faster setup. But, um, you know, Nando can put in some work here now that he has one fall run to have seen... You know, what, well, also, I, I, I don't know if they're redoing the whole battle, but yeah, we're going to be redoing the whole battle. So here they go, big entry from both guys, running a huge line going up the hill. He stays right on him, even though he is lagging all over the place. He is keeping oh. right on him. Oh, hit right there. Yeah, it looked like a small contact. It not look like it affected at all, but it's still going to be looked at by the judges. All right, we'll be looking over at the replay for this one. Let's go to replay and check this out. Does throw a big entry. Both of them almost. At Making that S13, S13 work for him, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what probably they were going to look at. I didn't right. notice that the first time I watched through, he did the fall card hit straighten out. So they were already going for their next run, so we'll have to hit over to the replay to check the whole run. Because they were wanting to check the replay to make sure. So we'll, we'll check, the, uh, check the replay real quick. All right, so it looks looks like a big gap was uh was brought together. But Nando's did start to close up out of the horseshoe, and then he couldn't close up any further. So proximity wise, it will definitely be um, Hayato for sure in that little S thirteen. He did, it didn't, did it look like he straightened out on his fall run to you? What'd you say? Did it look like the S13 straightened out on the fall run to you? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. It looked like after the first corner, he got a little bit straight. He just wasn't holding, I don't know. I, I personally saw Hayato throw down a crazy follow run, one that I've never seen before. Especially with somebody lagging like that, and then Nando, it just the 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 gap was not there. I can see this going one more time. I'm just gonna put that out there. So. But it looks like we will be getting another. Well, it looks like we're going to be getting a one more time. So we will be seeing Nando lead in the Play Mercedes the Benz. <laughs> some some OG people in the stream. Oh yeah, for sure. So here we go. Nando leading, Hayato following. Drops a small tire there in the beginning. Hayato, he's he knows exactly how to keep right up on him. 
He does lose it. Lose that gap just a hair going up the hill. That partially looked a little bit due to lag. He's not really as close as he was last last time I through. I think he's playing it a bit smoother. Um, he still right. is relatively close. Um, but, you know, like last time he got a little close and he did, I, I believe he touched him a little bit, um, if I remember. And, you know, if you get too close and the guy in front of you bobbles, you're screwed. So I think he got close enough, but he's still a little bit conservative compared to his first run. So they go for a second run. Nice entry from both drivers. Uh oh. Nando drops a tire. Hayato uh -oh. drops two. But Hayato is throwing down a killer run. Other than the drop tires, I do think Nando will take this win. So much whoops right there, man. Oh yeah. It looks like Nando will take the win in the C sixty three. All kinds of whoops. Ayoto was the car to beat between the two of them, but... They're wanting to go to a replay. Yeah, they're looking at a replay. Nando was definitely the better, or not Nando, but um, definitely the better out of the two of them. Oh, yeah. That's their team, just all the whoops. All kinds of whoops. Oh, yeah. But looks, they're, they're, uh, they may be calling it a one more time because Nando shallowed up a lot coming into the horseshoe. Mm hmm. I don't know, man. There was the two tire. Is that what they're looking like they're doing again? But mm. I don't know just yet. We'll have to uh, we'll have to hear from the judges. So this is going to be it one more time. Okay, I see where they're coming from. I'm not, I usually get really butt hurt when I thought I called it and then something. But uh, yeah. I see where they're coming from. So, we'll see how, uh... We'll see, uh... We'll see these guys go back at it again. Oh my goodness. Huge initiation. Hayato stays on his door. I don't think Hayato wants to have another one more time. I think, I think he's done. I think he wants to get this over with. Oh my goodness. It looks like half his wheel was over the line there, but there is still no tire drop. That's insane. But it looks like we'll be going to the replay. That yeah, squeaky chair. That squeaky chair. That squeaky chair. I'm sorry. Nothing I can do. Just again, a really solid entry. And especially through the horseshoe, just good god. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Missed it. Missed the missed the grid. M missed it. Well, we won't be doing that again. That was... Um, 
what happened was uh, they were wanting to pause it, and we didn't know that was going to happen when you pause it, so. All right, here we go. Toyota leading. Oh, there we go. Forgot to switch it back over from the replay. A little bit of a shallow entry in Toyota's car. Oh, yes. Looks like he's trying to gap him. Yeah, it does look like he's trying to gap him for sure. I mean, I mean, this may be going again, guys. Oh, I don't know what they'll think about that. I kind of looked out of range, but... Ah, we're going to have to go to a replay on that one. This may be going again. That was... That was a weird battle. It's just they both... They both chopped that horseshoe... they're going to think about that last turn if that was out of range or not but I don't know man that's toy it's toy like a toy gun. so It's just, these are, these are some crazy battles. Like I said, we are still in the top 32. This is the last battle. So, um, So I don't trying to um trying to figure out who's gonna win this one. And we do get a final call with JSI Nando taking the win. So So Nando will take the win, and we'll be moving into the top 16. The people in the stream, um, I think, going after Formula D drivers, uh, it might be a little bit too short notice for them, so I don't know um, if it's even worth it. Like, it'd be, like I said, it'd be awesome, but, you know, it's the day of if we were to give them a week or two notice, especially it's a week after, uh, week after FD. 
Um, yeah. You know, so if, if there's people just spamming every fan page, don't worry about it. You know, it would have been cool, but it's not a, a gigantic deal. Yeah. So, we are going to be moving to the top 16. <laughs> Someone said we should ask Daigo. He'd be down. You know, it's not like it's 5 a.m. in Japan right now. But, you know. You can turn so, here's speed. the updated ladders going into the top 16. Look at all of these people pretending to be me. You're not me, I am me. What are you saying? Because someone said we should interview Daigo Saito, and there's about 15 Daigo Saito raps um, <laughs> competing. <laughs> Look at all these imposters. Daigo Saito does not sound, <laughs> he does not sound like Mr. Miyagi. That's racist, I apologize. All right, so like I said, we will be moving on to the top 16. So let me uh, go ahead and change. Hopefully, the whatnot will be moving on a bit smoother now, because we don't have to wait around for people to get on. We don't have to wait around for people to join lobbies. So, hopefully we can uh, get through the top sixteen a little bit faster than we did the top top thirty two. Enjoy your band. So. Just waiting on everyone, getting everything rounded up here. Making sure everything's copacetic before we move into round or top 16, round two. I'm dumb. We're in round two. What kind of crazy chair do you have? One from 1995. <laughs> it's almost as old as you. Yeah, it's a true story. We had this computer as look when we bought this chair when we bought our first computer when there used to be like three thousand dollars. Had Windows ninety five on it? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Did it's you upgrade to uh ME or uh Windows two thousand? I think we had Windows ninety five and then ninety eight. Cause like back that was back in the time when like every two months like a brand new thing would come up for computers and your older one would be obsolete um, and people were dumb so you can pretty much sell your computer for like 85% of what you paid for it so I think we got like one that was 98 and then we skipped 2000 and then got one on XP and we had that one forever <laughs> back in the times of where a computer would sound about as loud as a lawnmower after about a month of having it that is true the computers used to sound incredibly loud mine's Mine's even loud today, but they're sounding a lot quieter. I was gonna say I used to 
be scared to leave my computer on all night, but I've had this for four years and it's, you know, just sounds like a computer that should. But I've never yeah. my old one before this one. Uh, sounded like a washing machine. <laughs> so let's take a look machine. at the uh, top 16 uh, battles. Uh, we do have XE Bowtie versus JSI Dwight. XE Live Fast versus JSI Rhythm. We'll have DMA Boston Troys versus Rampage. From Poggy. We'll have Frosty versus AG Kyle. We'll have MSR Hydro versus JSI Mad Dog. Ryru versus SFX Mustache. Mustache. XE Minty versus Nando. And XE Superfly versus SO Steve. What if SO is not abbreviation? It's just so. So every time you see his name, you're supposed to be like, So Steve, like that's so Steve, instead of that's so Raven. <laughs> no. Oh. N no. But, anyways, um, Bowtie and Dwight, that's going to be wow. And then the next battle, this is going to be wow. <laughs> With XE, you live fast and rhythm. So we can we could easily see an XE uh, grade eight uh, battle right there with Live Fast and Bowtie, but Dwight and Rhythm are definitely not gonna um, take them out. This is definitely more or less a team battle right there with uh, JSI and XE taking both of those spots. Then we'll see Boston Troy versus Rampage. And then the winner of that will go on to take whoever wins Frosty versus AG Kyle. Um, then we'll have MSR Hydro versus JSI Mad Dog. Then we'll have Ryru versus SFX Mustache. That's going to be one, another one of those crazy battles. For sure. Then we'll have XE Minty versus JSI Nando. And then XE Superfly versus SO Steve. So just in the top 16, we'll have three battles where it's going to be XE versus JSI. Boo! So, so it's definitely going to be more or less a team battle feel throughout, throughout the uh, top 16 with XE and JSI. Boo! Team battles are for poo heads. Boo! <laughs> this is individual competition. Well, I mean, it's individual, but it's just the way the brackets lined up that they have three battles where it's XE versus JSI. So, and all three of those battles are going to be ridiculous. Not to mention the other seven or other five battles that are also going to be ridiculous. But it looks like we have come up to the. Uh, Things are about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Things are about to happen. <laughs> what things? Stuff. Oh hey, I received an invite and I didn't accept it. Nice. Clearly doing my job as a showcaster. Actually, no, I did not receive an invite. You guys are dicks. All right, so we will be. Uh... Please tell me that the Raptors competing. Please tell me someone's doing the Raptor. Come on! The Raptor will not be competing. He's part of the Whoa. track staff. Someone's got to nut up and take the do the Raptor. Take one for the team. And uh, if anybody in the lobby would like to send me an invite, that'd be great. That'd be real nice. So we will be...
We'll be having the cone set up for the top 16. Look at that so, dank raptor. That is... That is where the cones will be set up. It's not a new obstacle, it's just... We're now, uh... Um, donuts. So everybody is coming up. This is <laughs> this is something new for them. It looks like, um, but this is what it is actually a lot more NFD. If you hit it, it's a zero. So the cone is now replaced by a truck. Yes. Why they don't just move the cone? I am not entirely sure. Because then people will hit it still. Yeah, that's the point. So you hit the truck, you're gonna crash and kaboom, and it's an auto lose. And like, sim damage and, and actual death. This plan wasn't thought out. No, not at all. It's like if you hit a cone, then yeah, it's a zero, but your car is not totaled, and if you're in the lead run, then you can actually have the chance that all right. the other guy to make a mistake in the fall run. So yes, the uh anyway, I'm not the these are gonna be simulated cones. They will be raptors. Oh dear. This can only go well. There's there's no possible way of this messing up at all. Still can't join. Alright, so the first one up to uh first one up to take can't join session nothing cool first one up to take the uh take the new cone setup will be Dwight versus Exy Bowtie I would not like to be those two right now So here they go. Exy Bowtie will be in the Z01 with Dwight J in the R33. A little bit of lag, but we do see him. There we go. Really nice coming around that corner. That was that looks really well. Uh, that looked really good from both. We'll, we'll hop over to the replay. It does look like he straightened up a little coming up the hill from Dwight. Oh, Here they go. Not really hitting that truck cone. Not even painted like a cone. You guys, you guys got no idea what's going on. Should have painted it like a cone. That would have been funny. He goes up the hill. Oh! They both. Oh! It does look like Bowtie also... Looks like Bowtie straightened out, but the lead car was backwards. Well, it looks like they both spun out. Mm. Well, look at the replay again. We need some of that cheesy formula but, music. Yeah, they both look so spun out. Oh, yeah. That's a double zero. I didn't see that. It looked like... Because... Bowtie was gone by the time the lead car was spinning out.
mean... Waiting on a verdict here. And an invite to the game. Hello, somebody. Thank you. No, never mind. Take that back. That was somebody leaving the party. He's in here. Watch a replay. I thought you were in here, Arrow. No. The fifth time I've said get me in the game. I sent you an invite. Big meme. I didn't get the invite. I did send you an invite. You just did. You just now. And I won't be able to join the lobby now. Nice. Thank you, Turn 10, for making some really reliable servers and connections. Oh, there you go. I meant but, to take that back. Um, it looks like Bowtie will take that win. But I'm, I'm kind of unsure of what's happening here. I think it's supposed to be it's supposed to be Rampage versus Boston Troy. If you can hear the crazy little shits outside my house, I do apologize. They don't know the meaning of the word quiet. It seems like the little one is trying to murder the little one. All right, so here we go, finally. So it looks like we'll be moving on to the next battle, Rampage in Boston, Troy. So, it does look like Boston Troy straightened up to go up the hill so you avoid that cone. Boston Troy is on a controller for those who are curious. Working really hard. Oh, yeah. Never wanting a replay. So it looks like he straightened up going up the hill and uh, Rampage looked to have hit the top of the horseshoe and dropped a tire. So... So here he goes for Rampage's follow run. He'll try to follow DMA Boston Troy in that 07 Shelby Mustang. Oh, it does oh. look like he has a lot of understeer in that Mustang as he entered. Good save on Rampage's part. It looked like he was going really wide. Oh! Oh! I don't oh. know if that, that looked like a stall or an angle check. One of the two. But Rampage, definitely. Rampage. Oh, he knocked him off course, though. We'll be going oh, to the replay for that one. 
I made a funny. Rampage didn't straighten out, but it looked like he that's what he had to do to avoid Boston. Um like we're watching the replay here. Yeah, it looks he came came around the horseshoe and just looked like he stalled it. It looked like his car came came down the hill just a little too much. Really good lead run on Troy's part and then just bobbled it. Stopping and, there. Yeah. Down real slow. Troy's not the kind of guy that would do that on purpose, so I don't no, know. No, he, he hates that stuff. Don't know what happened on his part, because it looks like he just slowed right down. There was no brake light. Didn't see uh didn't see any handbrake. So We'll uh, check back, make sure. All right, it will be a one more time between Boston Troy and Rampage. So here we go for Rampage's lead run for one more time. Rampage throws in a massive entry. Pulls himself up the hill. Avoiding the cone there. Real Boston, you sly little dog. Kept it right on him. Oh, he drops oh, four, though. I think I jinxed him. That's got to be a zero now. That will be a zero. That's three tires. That's better raise that car because you're going off road more than on it. I know. That follow was really nice. First part of the follow was at least. So here we go with Boston leading. He also throws in a big angle with that, uh. Boston's got nothing to lose right The Mustang. Rampage just cut it close, Tires. but Troy drops two. Oh. Troy saving that car just secured Rampage's win, I think. Oh! oh no, maybe not. He did stall out, though. Maybe not. Woohoo! Woo! Well. We'll go to the replay. Looks like he's going to rampage after this call. <laughs> I like making puns. Leave me alone. But that, that whole battle was just... He could have kept it. He could have had it, but... So, so lucky that Boston saved that little tap. Not that it was going to adjust him that much, and then just too much weight transfer right there. And... Bum, bum, bum. I have that sound bite. I don't know why I did it by mouth, but whatever. But here we go for... Uh, with DMA Boston Troy. Oh! Um, deciding that he's going to grip the course. Oh, uh, no. They're going to take their five-minute break and go get tires. Oh, well, it would have been nice to tell me that. That's I know, my right? Facebook friends. So then we're going to get tires. I'll go tires. Since we are part of Formula Drift, we do have to thank our sponsors real quick. Thank you, Quantum Designs, uh, for making the banners and the door plaques. Go check them on the Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon storefronts. You can put in QD or Quantum Designs. Uh, BKS Media uh, provided the loop that you see and the intro. Looking really nice. Uh, you also have Japan Drift Magic, uh, who is also doing some of the liveries here during VFD. And Yay Drifting, 
www.blogspot.com who will be uh, giving prizes, hopefully, um, at the end of the season to the winners uh, if their budget applies. So, I'll take a hint. Uh, I can't see that. Gosh dang it. Why do we got to be PG-13 in here? <laughs> but... Yeah, we'll be seeing them go for a second one more time. Rampage just deciding that the track's not for him. So he's going to take an alternate route. Yep. Waiting on uh, Grandma and Grandpa to come back to the line here. And uh, I don't know what the heck's going on. Arrow is one confused little chap at the moment. Alright, so... There was... They did move on to the next battle while they went to go get tires, which I did miss. I am sorry about that. Uh, you are now seeing Frosty and... Oh, he clobbered that cone. That's going to be a zero. Frosty and Kyle... But Kyle will win if he does not spin out. But Frosty spins out for him. Stop it! Thank you. <laughs> Were you playing a video of yours? I was checking comments. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so AG Kyle will be taking the win. But it looks like... Uh, It looks like people are just choking that last corner. That's the second battle we've seen um, come down to a choke. I think These people have they have the win in the bag, and then they just kind of derp up and leave it. Just like the real Formula Drift. Well, now it's not funny if I play this, the Price is Right Losing Horn, so we're not going to do that. Can't leave a two-second gap in between. Alright, so... Here we go for... The second one more time, where Boston Troy entered really well, but he did seem to lose it just a hair. Oh, and he will drop two, but I also think Rampage dropped two in that Camaro. But Boston drops another one coming out of the horseshoe. Sloppy. It's, it's, you we, know, he's uh, working hard on that controller, quick. but it seems like maybe he's working a bit too hard. As you saw, his entry was really nice. Mm -hmm. He just went up the hill. And SD Blinky wants to play Forza Motorsport 4. But here we go. For, uh, for Boston Troy's lead run. Looking really good in that Shelby. But Rampage is on his door. Holds back coming up the hill. Boston drops a small tire. On top of the hill. Ooh. Pretty straight there from Rampage. Not not a full straighten out, but could have been better. It looks like he's just being really conservative right now. Looks like Rampage will get the win. Really, really weak follow. Right over to the replay. Not... I, 
out of the two things he could have did there, it wasn't a bad idea. Yeah. So that will be... Looks like it's going to be the end of this, uh... In this battle, or in this lobby, so, um, yeah, it's gonna be the end of this lobby. So, we'll see if the ladders have been updated just yet. Not yet. So, we will be. Oh shoot! Will we? Uh, I have another drink over there. Jesus! <laughs> now that was me dropping my. Uh... They call me Butterfingers. Can't hold everything in my hand. So we'll be bringing in Live Fast to Battle Rhythm. Rhythm. So, here are the updated, uh, here are the updated, two, uh, our two sons ladders. are making it into the great eight. Yeesh. Oh, yeah. Good for you guys. It pays to be online. So. So we will be seeing XE live fast 
and JSI Rhythm in the next lobby. Um, the music you are listening to is JJ Rao, um, one of our drifters. Um, it's it's his SoundCloud. Um, this is his EP called White Storm. That's racist. Hey, it's snow. <clears throat> So, as you see, these are the updated uh, brackets, but we do have an we do have an update from we have an update from oh we have an update from the battles. Sorry about that. Um, I was listening to the uh, judges. Um, trying to get this to refresh, but actually live fast will not be able to make his battle so it will be JSI Rhythm moving on <laughs> beating that dead horse beating it uh, okay <laughs> Want to say to the five Canadians out there, happy May Long, everybody. May Long weekend here in uh, the Great White North. I'm assuming that most Canadians are passed out drunk in a ditch somewhere right now, so I feel you, bro. I'm with you in spirit. <laughs> it, is a t it is essentially an entire holiday surrounding um, the Queen. I don't really understand. And then. We twisted it into it being the usually is the weekend of May 24th. It fell on an odd weekend this weekend, and the challenge is to drink a whole two four to yourself in one night. A whole what? A uh, two four beer, so a 24 pack. Oh my gosh! Yeah, people die. Uh, it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, some bad things happen, uh, and if you're not a uh, two four drinker, you play Edward Forty Hands, <laughs> which is also bad, and people die. Oh my gosh. People go camping and uh, they don't come back. That's so sad. Canada. Great country. Anyways, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have our, we have our lobby. We're going to let Nando pick his car and we will be hitting the track for the second part of the top 16. And did Arrow receive an invite this time? Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. Did you? Are you joining? Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the process of doing that right now. Well, there you go.
All right, so. We will be moving on to the, uh, we'll be moving on to the top 16. My body is ready, but my butthole is not. <laughs> my brain is not ready, I can tell you that. All right, so first up will be Hydro MSR Hydro versus um, JSI Mad Dog. Mad Dog back there warming up his ties. All right, so. We'll see Mad Dog leading Hydro first. They they are setting up the cone, so the cone or the truck. Uh, no, they'll be setting up a cone. So don't know exactly what Mad Dog is doing, so. So here we go. Mad Dog leading first in that Mustang. Both of them throw it in. Nice. Oh, there's a cone. Oh. Runs it real nice. Mad Dog is killing his run. Hydro is really struggling. He's doing the best he can back there, it looks like. Right on the quarter panel. Very nice. But maybe a little bit too little too late. So, I want to see a replay. Um, we do have a DLC car for the replay, unfortunately. Alright, so, here we go. go with uh, Hydro leading in the 850. Mad Dog with a little bobble there, falling back. Oh, Hydro takes out the cone. 
Hey. We got to see if uh, Mad Dog doesn't choke it. Oh, that was a, that was a mistake. So I don't know what happened with uh, the Mustang. Why he's Bob Marley status. It looks like Nando's car is completely broke. Uh, it doesn't look like it to us, but he may have gotten lagged into. Alright, so we. Alright. So we'll be moving on to Ryru and SFX Mustache. Mustache with the mustache on his uh, driver card. Here he goes. Ryru throws it in with that FC. Oh, mustache knocks him right in the side. That ZL1. He's got some damage as well. I don't know how massive it is, but he definitely has some damage. Yeah, he will. He will. Get a little bit of damage, that's for sure. We're going to go to the replay. We're going to... Let's see if, uh, see if that damage was caused by lag or not. And it does seem to be it was a standard hit. Uh, he just ran into him. So, ran into him and gripped up. It looked like he McNamara'd him. You have been McNamara'd. I guess they're calling it either. They're calling it a, a a no advantage hit, a no fault hit. It looked like looked like a. Ryru started to slow slow up and straighten up. And then uh Mustache hit him, but Mustache throws in a huge run in the Camaro. Looking really nice. Lightning does shell up a little bit, but he does not drop a tire like Mustache did on top of the clip. He is a little shallow on angle in that FC, but he is also about two hundred horsepower down. Thank you. 
So that was that was a ridiculous run. So from both both competitors. So we'll see. Uh, It looks it looks like they're gonna continue talking about this really quick. So So yeah, they're discussing it. Who do you think took the win arrow? Arrow, you there? All right, looks like Arrow has fallen off the side of the earth. Um, he said he would be back. But it does look like we will be having a one more time. Here we go. Ryru throws it in with that FC again. Big entry. It's exactly what we're looking for. He does drop a tire coming up the hill. He's dropping tires all over the place, but Mustache just runs straight into him. Runs right into the side of him. We'll be going to the replay. So lightning, uh, lightning comes in, but it looks like they're about to, oh, but here, here comes the run. Lightning keeps right up on his door in that FC. Keeps right up on him. Keeps right up on him. We'll go to that replay for sure. Yeah, you see he's right up on his door. So that was I was looking to be uh, a crazy run mostly because of the first run where Mustache ran into him. So we're uh, waiting for a call. So he's in that Yokohama SC versus the Hankook Tires ZL1. Oh, holy lag. It looks like, looks like lightning's got a little bit of damage. We'll, uh, we'll look at mustache just in case they do go one more time. He does have 100% all the way around on that ZL1.
All right, so we do have a call. Mustache will be taking the win. Next up, next will be Minty and Nando. This battle is going to be ridiculous. Minty in the R34, Hankook Wedsport R34. Versus Nando in the Toyo Tires C63 AMG. Here goes, here goes Minty throwing it in with his R34, and that's what he does. He kills that entry in that R34. Nando keeping right up on him. He did not hit the cone, but he got really close to it. He is keeping right on his door. Nando is keeping that proximity right on him. Whew. We'll be going to the replay for this. Minty throws in a nasty backwards entry. Oof. He got really close to hitting that cone. Here, here they go for their... He did stop. Um, a little later than what I thought. Alright, so if he does not like the start, um, that's one of the rules here at VFD. If you don't like the start, you can stop. Um, you can stop before that third dotted line. And that will and that will allow a rerun. But here we go for the, this run where Nando is he is equally killing it. Minty is on his door. He says, proximity is something that needs to be small, so I'm going to keep it there. Oh, he does not let him transition. It looks to be over because Nando didn't really mess up on his follow run, but Minty was just too close. Here we go for the replay. Kept right on him, and then here's where the contact happened, right there. That was very questionable, and if he actually hit him or not. And they will be giving the win to... JSI Nando, maybe. We'll have to. Because both of those, both of those runs were nasty. Minty had a little he had his his follow was just ridiculous also his lead was ridiculous but I, I do think Nando's proximity is going to keep it for a one more time
So there is a possibility that this could be a one more time due to the proximity that Nando didn't have. It looked to be a little shallow in proximity. Um, but Minty did hit him. It is official. It will be a one more time. So here we go again for JSI Nando following XC Minty. Minty will be in the R34. Handcooked tires. JSI Nando will be in the Toyo C63 Mercedes. But again, Minty is just super smooth. Nando is much better on that follow. But he knocks the cone all the way into the... <laughs> he knocked it all the way into the fans. And it looks like Minty will be uh, having a huge advantage, even though he did drop one tire. So here they go. As you can see, he's going up the hill, and Nando just knocks it. Here they go. Nando's lead run. Minty will be following. Oh, Nando quit. I guarantee you he's going to tell you that cone was out of place. And I would definitely stop too if that, if that was not there. The track staff did say that the cone was not in the right where it should have been, but they still let him go. So it will be they will be resetting the cone and they'll be redoing this battle. So the cone wasn't in the spot it was before, so they're gonna have to uh let Nando have another one. But I do believe that was kind of, that was definitely bad on the VFD staff, but but that's uh, that's just one of those things that happens you have to deal with it every once in a while so Nando will be leading again so here we go again with the Nando leading in the Toyo tires Mercedes he throws in a huge run Minty keeps it in but he does lose a little bit of proximity going up the hill Nando is killing his lead run. He does lose Minty through the horseshoe. See if Minty can pull that back in, which he doesn't. Nando creates a gap. Whew. That was... That was a killer follow run, or lead run from Nando for sure. So let's see how the judges call this one. And that will be a Minty win. Minty will take the win. Next up will be Superfly versus Steve. Another battle that can go. Oh, it will not be Steve. Steve is not in the game. It is supposed to be.
but we don't always agree with the judges, but we do do just take the uh, call and call it a day. That's that's the call, and that's how it is. Um, I do think that Nando should have had a probably either a one more time because his lead run was killer. So that was uh that may have been a bad call on them, but we just uh that's true they they did uh they did give a uh reasoning why. Nando did get a zero on his first run for hitting the cone, whereas Minty did not earn a zero for doing what he did. So, Minty did two runs. Neither of them were zero, whereas Nando did zero, zero on his on follow his run. run. So. so. Arrow? Yo. Oh, there you are. Okay. I went to poop and had to make a couple phone calls. Yes, the the cone does matter. Um, that's meant to keep people from driving in there. So that uh that cone is there for for you to hit it. So. That was me. <laughs> so here we go with the last battle of the top 16. I'm going to close Facebook just so that doesn't happen again. So who's battling right now? Uh, this will be um, So Steve versus Xe Superfly for the for the uh, final battle of the top sixteen. So. So I missed quite a bit, apparently, from what I'm seeing. While I was having myself a. Steve will be following first. Poop. He ended up twenty second. And qualifying with a 94 on his second run. So here they go. Superfly in the Supra. So Steven that S two K keeping up with him. Surprisingly, oh, Superfly does make a huge correction, dropping him all the way off course. 
I mean, Superfly looked on point to win today. In my opinion, he's... My goodness! Eight. So here it goes. Here goes Steve in the S2000 will be leading Superfly in the Supra. See how he goes about leading in this VTEC power car. The Supra stays right up on him. Does give him a little nudge. Oh, and that will knock him around. I do believe... Uh, I do believe it's going to be a... And bye-bye, Superfly. That ride. Uh, oh, my gosh. You you just don't stop, do you? All right. Here we go with the replay. <laughs> See what happened there on that... Uh, on that... Oh, he does. Oh, it does look like he brake checked him, but he was about to go off course. I don't think that was so much a brake check, but it, it does look like he tried. He tapped the brakes twice, dude. You're not you're not dropping like ten miles an hour from that. I mean, can we get another replay, or is that mm. all we can get? That's all we can get. Mm. I don't know, because if it was a brake check, I mean, within Forza's limitations, the more brake checky brake checks are, that was dumb, but uh, usually it's more with a handbrake um, when someone has malicious intent. Um, yeah. Foot brake, it's more so trying to, you know, he's trying to slow himself up because he was going in a little quick. Um, I don't think that it would, if it was a brake check, quote unquote, I don't think it was intentional. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that was a brake check either. It was, he was, it, as you saw, he was about to go off course when he went up to the top of the the uh, horseshoe. So I do think that was just him trying to keep from going off course. But he will take the win. So. Superfly again with some amazing lead runs today. Um, just a shame it has to go out like that. So here we go. We are finally here with the top eight. So we'll be getting that lobby together. 